Xeros server, which covers three key functions of a show replay with standalone capabilities, uh, full tracking backup, but also it's an architectural controller, and you'll see some of the possibilities with that again as we talk later. Uh, let's talk a little bit about the, uh, the One UI uh, Xeros server. Um, first thing we're going to talk about is the uh, first of those applications that David mentioned, uh, tracking backup. Uh, and that's exactly what we've got here. So we've got our Xeros server uh, tracking our master flex console. Okay, so our master flex, this is controlling the rig right now, and this is just quite happily keeping synchronized. It's just looking at everything I'm doing on here. If I make edits, they're just keeping up to date on here. And if I were to pull the power, if this were to lose uh, network connectivity, my Xero server will just automatically take over and that's then gonna be in control. Uh, equally, I can actually go on my Xero server and take control manually. And now I'm controlling my rig from my Xero server and now uh, my Flex console is actually tracking uh, my server. Uh, let's take a look at a very quick video to talk a little bit more about how tracking backup works. So, there's hundreds of people watching your show, or thousands attending your concert, or maybe you're broadcasting to millions. You probably want a backup. Otherwise, it is going to be rather embarrassing if something happens to affect the console. Losing power when someone tries to charge their phone, or spilling that pint of Coke you've always been told to keep away from the desk. This is where a tracking backup comes in. It's a system of two or more connected controllers monitoring each other, so one can take control automatically if the other goes offline. It's like the safety bond on your lights. You hope to never use it, but if it does take over, you're very thankful it was there. Great stuff, so hopefully that clears things up a little bit and explains a little bit more about how you might actually use tracking backup in uh, a real life scenario. Um, but how that would typically be set up is I would have a flex, I would have my Xeros server, and I would also have an ethernet gateway all networked together. Okay, and my, my DMX lines will be run from my ethernet gateway, and those kind of three devices will all be uh, working together to make sure that your uh, uh, lighting rig continues to run. So let's talk a little bit about some of the front panel controls that we've got. Um, first things first, we've got these four buttons here. These are, if you're used to using Flex, you'll be familiar with those. Uh, those are your user-definable keys, or UDKs is what we refer to them as. Um, as the name suggests, they can be pretty much whatever you want them to be. They could be lighting states, they could be scenes, uh, we could have shortcuts, macros, and there are also some kind of extra advanced functions uh, that you can configure those to be as well. Next to that, we got a little shift key, okay? So when these are, the UDKs are acting as advanced functions, uh, they can have two functions, a normal function and then also a function when shift is held. Next to that, we then got our view button. It allows us to change what we can see on our external monitor, so that's really useful. And then we also have a setup button that's gonna just take you in and out of setup, and it can also allow you to access the settings of your UDKs. And then our last button we've got on the front panel is our master play button or our master go button. If I were to transfer the show file from my flex exactly as I've done here, my zero server has kind of stolen the show file if you like from my flex, um, whatever I had on my master playback is now gonna be run from here. It's just an exact identical equivalent of that master playback that you're used to on the full size flex console. Uh, we then got our uh, little display here, really useful display. It's going to show you just things like your software version uh, and a few network settings as well. So saving you having to dive, in, dive into any menus, uh, all of that info is there available to you. And of course, a handy USB port on the front as well. Okay, um, and so. As you can see, you can use Xeros Server as a standalone lighting controller. Connect a USB keyboard and you'll be able to take, a, uh, to take advantage of the, uh, the keyboard shortcuts, um, some of which are actually coming to other Xeros consoles in a future software update. And I can also attach some wings. So Xeros wings that you'll be used to connecting to, to, to the Flex console, USB, I can literally plug it straight into my server and then I've actually got some nice hands-on faders that I can use as well. Great stuff. So let's take a little, a little look at the back of the server uh, and talk, take, talk a little bit more about ways of triggering it. 
So I'm just going to spin this round, let's lose some of these cables, and then let's start to talk about the back panel. So Zero Server, it shares a uh, very similar rear panel to that on the Flex console. Uh, shares the same PowerCon True One power input with a medical grade uh, internal PSU. Uh, let's start over here. Let's start on the right hand side. Uh, first of all, with your little D sub connection for remote. Uh, that is where you can actually wire in closed contact switches. They could be used to uh, trigger your macros or lighting states, pretty versatile uh, uh, closed contact switches. Next to that, good old sound to light input. That's where you can uh, synchronize your, your chases to audio if you wish. Uh, we then got MIDI. MIDI in and we've got a out or a through port as well. Um, Zero server can be uh, triggered using uh, MIDI notes, MIDI show control, or MIDI timecode protocols. Okay, so you can just hook that one in there and you can use your through connection to, uh, to daisy chain zero server, if you like, into a larger uh, MIDI network. We then got a pair of uh, DMX outputs, pair of, a pair of five pin DMX outputs there, direct from the server. And those can output any of your 64 patchable universes. Okay, so any 64 universes can be output from your ports there. You can also actually connect uh, USB to DMX dongles if you want to, to add direct local outputs. Um, or of course, we can come out over the network and we can come out using ArtNet, Streaming ACN, or CITP uh, Ethernet, uh, DMX over Ethernet protocols from your network port. If you are on the network, of course, you've got the benefit of the tracking backup that we just had a play with earlier, um, and you've got the added benefits of remote apps and things like that, so you can, you can remote into Xeros server from, uh, from a, a different location in the venue, for example. A uh, couple of USB ports and our HD external monitor output. Um, USBs that could be used for the touch element of your external touch screen if you've got one. Uh, or of course, your mouse, your keyboard, your things like that. If you need more USB devices, chuck a USB hub in there as well. Um, and that takes us then to our green connector here, our Phoenix connector. Uh, and that is for our ICANN connectivity. Uh, it's where you can uh, connect Xero server to your architectural lighting network. We're going to hand over to John now by the auditorium entrance um, to explain a little bit more about the capabilities of CAN. Thanks, Edward. Yes, so Zero Server has an option to include ICANN, which is our architectural network and links 088 products and our sister company, iLight, and their whole range of user interfaces. So for example, we've got one of their button panels here and I can just go and hit a button and the lights go out in the venue, for example. There's a whole range of these button panels available with customized shapes, sizes, colors, etc., And you can change what the labels say so you could actually have scene one, scene two or whatever it might be on them. There's touch screens available, and again, you can obviously customize the user interfaces of those. There's a whole range of sensors available, so you could have a, a sensor in the room and somebody walks into that room and it automatically triggers a lighting state on the Xero server, maybe uh, a lighting state for inside, maybe it's a, a lighting state for the outside of the building, something like that. Uh, they also, on the iLight product range, have this little thing called a UIM. Uh, and a UIM is just a little PCB that fits in the back of a bat box nice and neatly, and you can wire any contact closure to it. So if you came to our stand at Plaza last year, you would have seen uh, we had an e-stop and you just hit the e-stop and all the lights went out or on or whatever it is you would like them to do. We even, just to prove that you can literally wire anything to this, had a bathroom pull switch and pull that and again it triggers a lighting state. So the, the, kind of, the options truly are endless with this and you can have this triggering scenes on Zero server. Uh, ICANN is also built into rig switch, which we're going to talk about in a, a few minutes time. So you can have a single button panel that when you press a button, it turns on all your fixtures by a rig switch and also sends a message to Xeros server to replay a scene uh, on the LEDs and moving lights that you've just powered on. So loads and loads of options available. Uh, some of those products are just plug and play. So they're available on our price list. You plug them in and it turns everything on, it turns everything off or, or does whatever it is you want to do. Uh, whereas other ones need configuring and we can help you with that. So if you've got any questions, just get in touch with us. Uh, but that's everything really to do with ICANN. Hopefully that's been helpful. Uh, so we're gonna pass back over to David now, but before we do that, I should probably turn the lights back on. So over to you, David. Thanks, John. 
as you can see, Xeros Server is not just a product, it's a complete system. And equally, when we get to talk about RigSwitch, you'll see many of the same components. And again, it's a complete system using many of those components. So, Xeros Server available in one, two, four, eight, and 16 universes. And at any time, you can go to the upgrade portal uh, to also add universes to the product that you choose. It's available in two versions, um, standard 088 and also the architectural version, and it's shipping now.